What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here again today. So I wanted to disclose this since I've been sitting on it for a while and waiting for things to align in order for me to see as something worth talking about. So in Scream 6, we had a holiday theme basically since it was set around Halloween. Scream 7 though, it seems to be continuing this holiday trend. Now, how do I know this? Well, a few months back when the same person who told me about Landon possibly directing, Radio Silence staying attached as producers, etc. That whole thing ended with a message of it's the most wonderful time of the year. And like a fool, I ignored it and didn't look into it at all. Then more recently, as we all know, the production weekly listings for Scream 7 had me and a few others convinced that we'd be back in Canada, that it'd be set around winter time, and obviously winter time, if you're going to be going to Canada when it's snowing, that means this obviously is going to be set around Christmas to some degree. But then another source that I brought that to laughed at me basically when I presented it to them. So I was like, OK, this must be a mistake because then sure enough, the next week production weekly took it down. And then I started thinking, wait a second, what if this movie really is set around Christmas and just not filming in Canada this time around? So they could obviously do Christmas and not have snow. You don't have to have snow to be Christmas based. So then I inquired about that cryptic comment that I got earlier this year. And sure enough, Scream 7 will indeed be aiming to take place during the most wonderful time of the year. A Christmas themed project is the plan currently for Scream 7. That source actually said took you long enough because again, like I said, like a fool, I just ignored it at first. I'm not entirely sure if we will see any snow, but Christmas is 100% the thing that is currently being planned as the setting backdrop for Scream 7. An easy avenue that can be used to write Sydney in for sure, especially if it involves visiting her or her coming to see Gail or Gail coming to see her for the holidays or some other easy tactic to nail her in up front to kind of center to kind of make it known. OK, she's here. She's going to be prominent. We're going to lock that in right away. I'd honestly just abduct one of the kids. I'd, I'd honestly just have Ghostface take one of the kids. Ghostface can strike then bam, she won't be leaving until everything is solved. Take one of the kids, have her searching for the child the whole movie, implement some crucial material that ties her and Sam's parents together one last time, and go out on a high note. What was that line that Kirby had at the end of Scream 6? She's like, we're part of the same effed up family or something along those lines. Why not have Mark and Sydney host a holiday dinner, invite Gail, who insisted on having Sam, Tara, Chad, Mindy, etc. over as well. Sydney, just to stay true to the character and have this be sensible, is completely in, a, in disagreement with this, with this gathering. She thinks it's a bad idea. But Mark has convinced her to go along with it for the holidays and that nothing bad will happen. So because Sydney just doing a holiday dinner with all these folks and she never had doubts about it, wouldn't make sense to me i want to toss that in as a possibility if there's a holiday dinner i think it would be crucial to make sure that we make it clear that sydney prescott thought that this was a bad idea i would just struggle a little bit to be completely sold on sydney arranging such a on the surface foolish event but if your husband who hasn't of course gone through this as much as you convinced you to do so then I'm a little bit more lenient to think, OK, I can see why you did it. You didn't really do it because you wanted to, but because you wanted to appease your husband, who you love and you support. And you guys, of course, have no problem seeing these people that, well, one half you kind of know and the others are just strangers that Gail at this point would be the most closest to. Uh, that's what I would do. Sydney could have a holiday dinner. Mark and her could be hosting it. And naturally, one of, one of the survivors can die at the dinner, preferably Tara. And one of Sydney's kids can be kidnapped along with Gail Weathers and the film can just go from there. That's as easy as it can get in terms of giving us an opening scene set around Christmas time. I'm trying to think of what you could do at a Christmas setting with Ghostface. I don't want to really see too much wackiness. I don't want to see Ghostface necessarily killing somebody with a Christmas ornament or killing somebody with a Christmas tree. Granted, It'd be nice to have some more unique kills that aren't just stabby, stabby, stab. I get that. But I would like it to be done in a way that doesn't come off too 
comical. It doesn't come off as a parody of itself. Some of you listening to this who think the Scream franchise has already reached that territory are probably laughing. <laughs> but if we're doing a Christmas setting, I just I just don't want to see Ghostface killing somebody with Rudolph's red nose or something silly like that. Because the movie, again, as of now, 100%, that's what they're aiming to do. They're aiming to set Scream 7 around Christmas. So similar to how Scream 6 was set around Halloween, Scream 7 is going to be continuing that holiday theme trend. Scream 7 is going to be set around Christmas. I'm very intrigued to see if this will actually stick because they could always end up changing stuff and not sticking it at Christmas time. I'm hearing that apparently from what I gathered from that person who again laughed at me after I finally caught on, they're saying that they could be filming in early 2024. I've also heard the rumor about late 2023, all of which would make sense if you are indeed trying to capture some type of winter setting to highlight the fact that this is set around Christmas time. You don't have to have snow, but you guys, again, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. What do you think about Scream 7 being set around Christmas? Do you like that? Do you not like that? Or do you really not care? I know a lot of you, like me, you're probably going to be like, well, that doesn't really mean the movie's going to be good. And it doesn't. It doesn't mean the movie's going to be good. But I also know a lot of people have been clamoring to see Ghostface in the snow or just Ghostface set around holidays. Because, again, we've had so many movies and not a lot of them have been holiday themed the way Scream 6 kind of was. I know they didn't really play into it heavily, but it clearly was around Halloween time and we got to see that as a backdrop. So having Christmas as a backdrop for Scream 7 could open the door for a lot of different kill scenarios. Kills possibly in the snow. If they have snow, I doubt they will have snow. And the reason I doubt they will have snow is because they're not aiming the film in Canada. That doesn't mean Canada is the only place where snow is. But I'm starting to lean on the fact that they could be aiming to go somewhere where there is no snow. And we won't have any snow, but you'll have Ghostface killing around the most wonderful time of the year. Will Ghostface get to kill Santa Claus? Who knows? Will Ghostface get to kill Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Who knows? We'll find that out when Scream 7 arrives, whenever it does. I was actually predicting that if they were able to start filming before the end of the year, maybe we'll see Scream 7 in August. But if you're trying to go for Christmas, would you really release your movie in August? I mean, then again, look at when the Haunted Mansion released this year. Who knows? But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What do you think about Scream 7 again, tensively taking place at Christmas time? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.